What's up, Blender Savages, and welcome to Blender Savage. So today, I'm gonna start out with a question. Have you ever heard of a Blender YouTuber by the name of Infensia? This guy is freaking dope, let's check him out. So here's his channel, and uh, he has these speed tutorials where he makes uh, low poly models like super fast. These are really dope. I really like the look of them, and um, I actually have something similar here. This guy uses UV maps, but you might be wondering, hey, what the heck's a UV or a UV map? Well, don't worry, I'll show you another method of doing that. Let's begin. All right, so here we have Blender. I made this uh, bootleg, bootleg, uh, what you may call it? The Dragon Zord? A bootleg Dragon Zord. There we go. A bootleg Dragon Zord. It's, it's morphin' time. There it is. All right, but as you can see here, it doesn't look very, um, it doesn't look very detailed. Some of the stuff here is kind of lost in there. So we want to get something like this, right? Look at this. You can see the edges there a lot better as compared to this one over here. Uh, right there, see that edge is more profound right there. You kind of can't really see it. There's another edge right there. But it kind of just blends it with everything else. We want to get an edge like that, right? That's more noticeable. Uh, all these little small details. I made some air vents here. I got this little step that sticks out. Can't really see it there. And I got a whole little uh, crew right here, you know, working on it. Since they're not going to jump in there and pilot on it. They're not going to pilot it because this is not a Power Rangers uh, uh, character thing. Uh, we're going to go with something like this. So uh, let me show you how to make that. I'm going to put the cube here just for reference. So what we want to do is be in the solid viewport shader right here. Where uh, by default you will be there if you're modeling, right? And they're going to go up here on the right hand corner. Click on that arrow right there, the little expander right there. Boom. So we got a whole menu. Depending on which um, viewport shader you have selected right here, you're going to have different options. So let's go to solid, go right in here, and then activate matte cap. Let's zoom in so we can see a little better. All right, expander, matte cap. All right, see, I'm already noticing a difference right there. Cool. So it's already looking better. And now another thing we can do. Every time we bring in another mesh object, it can have a different color. So right here, color, let's go with random. See, now they all have different colors. So you got the glasses here as a separate uh, object. Also, um, I don't think uh, Power Rangers, uh, Megazords uh, wear sunglasses anyways. Uh, look at that. There's our our, um, our team there. Oh, no, it's this trooper over there. All right, they're troopers. They also happen to work on the um, on the Megazord here. I mean, on the not the Megazord, right? All right, then over here, I'm going to open, I'm going to activate cavity right there. Cavity, boom, look at that. What the heck? Look at that big jump right there. Let's go back over here. Cavity off and on. There it is. Uh, mine's already set to two. So by default, you're probably going to be set to like one or it could be 0.5. I think it's one is the default here. Actually, we can just right click, go to reset to default value if it was available, but for some reason it's not. Let me change this one to one there. There it is. Uh, so yours probably one by, if it's your first time doing this, just hold down the left mouse button and drag over. There we go. You can even add a little bit of a shadow there. There we go. Let's look, little shadows there. Now it looks way better. And look at the cube too. Look at the cube. Now we can see the little characters down there going up the little ladder there. About to go inside there and uh, make some repairs because that's what they do. Uh, so there you have it. Also, there's one more you can do for the wireframe. See wireframe right here? Boom. Viewport. And they're going to go to random. There it is. Cool. And then uh, let me go over here to the uh, viewport shader. Sorry. This is called, um, it's called material preview. I already forgot. Z key. Material preview, yeah, material preview, and that's what this shader is called here, viewport shader. Uh, you can change these right here. Click on it. You can change the lighting here around it. So it's like a fake HDRI file. What the heck's an HDRI file? But look, just know that the lighting is different based on the, the, the ones you click on. That's all you have to know for now, unless you want to explore HDRI files. But you can see there the lighting is different. Let's give you a preview of what the final product will look like with some good lighting. All right, so there you have it. Uh, if, uh, if you find this helpful, please give me a like, comment, share. Subscribe, anything helps. Have a freaking awesome day. Take care and support the Power Rangers and other Blue Lake shows that are like the Power Rangers. I love that. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye.